hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about the what is standalone component what is the need of standalone component why they have introduced this standalone component and how can we use that standalone components in the application so and one more thing so if we are using the standalone component so how the routing will work because we don't have the modules now earlier we are using the load modules correct so over there with the modules we can load the components and the children's of that module right now we don't have the anything related to the module so if you see here in the left side panel so we don't have the modules over here if you see here config and we are providing the routes from directly from here so we are not using any modules anywhere okay so that's where things comes how the standalone components exactly works so in this video we are gonna see this example so over there we have two components okay one with a room and another is a home so over there how we are using the standalone components how we are navigating to the other components and how we are getting the value from that components and how we are routing the one one component to other component so i will give you the brief uh, first how this application works so if i put something over here and if i submit you will see room box okay so it shows the another component which is the room okay let me expand a little bit this so you can see i have passed this id over there in the home component and from there we are navigating to root room and we are passing this value over here so this is how it get it get passed to that okay so first of all let's talk about the what is standalone component means exactly what it is so basically standalone means nothing but we are separating our component from the modules okay so we are not gonna use any module anywhere in the application so if you see this example i have one router outlet i have used over here so i if you see this this standalone component this is how we can mark our component as a standalone so if we mark this component as a standalone then you don't need to import that component to the amp.module.ts if you are working on the project over there uh, we have suppose you have models over there and you are working with angular 16 and you are trying to create new components so over there you can mark as a standalone true so you don't need to import that component to the app models okay so this is how we should mark the standalone true over here okay and another things if you see this imports over here okay so this these are the two things they have introduced with the standalone okay so whatever things you are gonna use in your application you have to put over here itself okay so if i are using the router outlet if you are using suppose uh, mad buttons if you have something then or you are using any third party library i will talk about that as well so this is how you have to import it okay so right now we are using the router outlet because we are navigating to the other components okay over here from here let me open a home component so we can discuss more okay so over here if you see we have a input box okay we are passing that id and we are entering to the room okay right now if you see here the forms module i have used because we are in using the ng model over here okay so to use the ng model you have to import your forms model so earlier whenever you are importing the reactive forms module forms module then browser module all those th all those things goes to the your uh app module.ts file so right now if you don't you don't need to do everything over there so you can from here you can use everything if you see bootstrap and all so you don't need to use from there itself so you can import from here and it will enable it and you can ready to use this okay so uh, let's talk about this example now okay so i'm using this router.navigate i'm passing this room id let's go back again okay so if i click over here if i pass a b c if you see here i am passing routes as a room and then whatever room id i have passed i added into here okay once i submit here if you see it navigated to room room component okay if you see here room components it loaded okay let me reload once if you see here it navigated to room room component so i have pasted uh, this room box at the top and i am i am adding this a template reference for Zigo Cloud. So that we have already discussed in the previous video. If you want to see that video, I can uh, put in the cart over here above. After this video, you can watch that as well. So over there, we have created our own custom video application. How can we create our own conference application and all? So if you want to, if you are interested, then you can watch that. Okay, let's talk about this now. So, okay. So we have this component over here. Okay. Right now, if I go over here, if you see, let me close this now. Okay. So now if you see here, you are getting the router parameters, okay? 
so we are getting router parameter from the activated route and also we are created or injected over here and we are getting the parameter this is how this thing so you might be already know so that's where it thinks comes if you see here in the url if you find abc at the end room abc so this is how you can pass a parameter with your routes okay now we'll talk about our routing file so earlier we are go, we use load load comp, load modules okay so right now we don't have any options with the load module so we can directly use load components let me open a router file if you see here if you see load components then you have to give your component path and here you can use home components okay this is how you can use a root room component so if the nothing is matching then you can redirect it to a default path might be you already know that okay so if you see i have added anything something different so it get mad so the things comes over here so if you want to uh, understand these things now so if you are using the load component like this so how can, how you can show your children's now earlier we are gonna we do only pass our modules okay and in the module you have the routes okay child routes so how that it works now so if you any any one of you know that so please comment that we'll talk about in the next video so I think I have, I tried to cover uh, what is standalone component, how it works, then why we are using the standalone components in this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, share this video with the friends who are working in Angular. This was the one video I have created from the Angular 16. So, so I will be covering many things uh, after the, after this video, we'll talk about the, what is defer loading, what is signal, how are the deferable views we have how the now uh, our architecture getting changes so uh, whatever we are using ng for ng if then we are using the structural directives all things gonna change from the so from the 17 so you should make sure that you are updated so that's it in this video i hope i had tried to cover everything related to the standalone if i miss anything please add into the comment box we'll talk about there